Welcome everybody. In this video I will take you through the third of the skill tests for ELT 106 aka electrical circuits. So let's begin this skill test. As I have stated before, this is your work order. Expenditures will fill up at the end when you have completed the circuit. Status of repairs is when somebody else has tried to fix the problem in the circuit and has not been able to. And problem description is what the person who has reported the problem says that they have noticed with it. You want to pay extra close attention to this and to this. This can give you hints on how to figure out how to fix this quickly and efficiently. So let us begin. Right off the bat, we can tell that light 1 and light 2 are on, but we have not pushed any buttons or anything else, so that means something is letting power flow to the lights before we're even ready. Let us see if the lights turn off when we push one of the off buttons. PB4, they turn off as long as we hold it, but when we let go, they turn back on. PB5, same thing. PB6, same thing. So, we will pull out the schematic diagram again. Always make sure you have this diagram with you. This, can, this tells you how the process should work. As we can see, what can cause the lights to be on all the time? That is the problem we have right now. PB1 could be closed, could be shorted closed. PB2 could be shorted closed. PB3 could be shorted closed. Or the relay parts open contacts. 1, 3 could be closed and 8, 6 could be closed. So one of these two could keep it going. Obviously when we hit this, power goes off. So we know it's not this. Because if it was this, hitting the stop buttons would do nothing. These would still stay open. I mean, these would still stay closed. So we can rule out 8, 6. Because, let me try to explain this a different way. If it was 8-6, pushing any of the stop buttons would open this automatically. But if this was shorted closed, they would be closed all the time. So no matter what you did to relay 1, this would stay closed, allowing power to bypass this area completely. So we know that our problems could be PB1. PB2, PB3, or Relay Open Contact 1-3. And PB stands for Push Button. So let's observe to see if we see anything. The lights LT1 and LT2 are lit, as we can see. And Relay 1 appears picked up. You can tell it is picked up because you can see the little light on the relay. So how do we test this? Well, the easiest way to test it is resistance. Because we know the problem is either push button 1, push button 2, push button 3, or this relay contact. So we're dealing with a mechanical problem. So go to your circuit breaker, turn off the lightning lighting circuit, lock out, and verify dead. Make sure you do this so you do not get dinged for safety errors while doing this. Pull out your meter and go to ohms. Take your screwdriver and instead of measuring each one individually, we're going to test the push buttons first. And how we will test this is by disconnecting at push button 2. It is halfway in between. Testing push button 2 is halfway in between them. So if we disconnect this part, as you notice, 
one wire goes to here from PB3 to PB2, and it goes from PB2 to PB1. There's no wire that goes straight from PB3 to PB1, so this isolates these two from this. So if the problem is not found here, we know we have separated it either here or here. So let us take our measurements now, putting the black lead on PB2, 2, and red lead on PB1. Now, click on the on button, and that is a good reading. Obviously, the problem is somewhere else. So let's take our screwdriver and disconnect at PB3. We will now test PB3. We'll click the on button, and that works just as well. So now let us go to PB1. And the reason we are leaving those other wires disconnected is because if we do not find the problem, they will serve a different purpose. As you can see, we've tested these two, and they were open until we were getting an open line reading until we clicked the on button. Here, however, we have not pushed the button, and we are getting a zero, zero. So if we push the on button, it does not change. So obviously we know what is wrong. So select your screwdriver, reconnect the wires to the other two, take your wrench, and make sure you select PB1, because these are two different switches. They're in the same area, but they're two different switches. Select PB1, and we will want to replace it. Turn your meter off. Remove lock. Turn on the lighting circuit and test it. Already we can tell it is working better than it was because the lights are off when we turn off and they are on when we turn the on buttons. By observation, we could tell that the problem was with a push button and or relay contact, normally open contact. The next if we had not found it after testing the push buttons, we would have tested this open contact here. Relay open contact 1, 3. If we had still not found the problem, we would have then have tested the wires to see if a wire was wrong. I hope you find this video instructional and helpful. Thank you.